And you would have seen that. Obviously, no sign of Omar Razul, who many people were saying why isn't he opening the batting? Well, he's injured his shoulder. So he's dropped out for this game as we look to start here. It's a good start from Hussein as that's going to run away. And we might start with the boundary. And we are going to. That's four runs for Bulgaria. Good start for Hussein. Good clip off the legs as that's going to get down down the leg side. And it runs away. All the way for four runs. You need a reply here from Mishra. Not the start he would have wanted. And he's back on. Straight away. And a good line of length there. And many people were saying that there would have been a change at the top of the order for Bulgaria. Chris Lakoff just dropping out. It'll be interesting when he does come in. Obviously, Prakash Mishra as well. Uh, he's a bit of a yes, no. He set off and went, actually, not today. As he turns it around and says no. Again, hearing a little bit on the legs of Hussein, and he's not going to miss out, is he? We've seen him hit some incredible shots over the last couple of days. And he's going to really look to push on as he's been given an opportunity at the top of the order for Bulgaria. We get to see Ishan De Silva at the top of the order once again. Not dropped down to number four earlier on against Gibraltar as Bulgaria lost. And that gave Gibraltar their first win of the tournament here. Mishra to continue here. And Ishan De Silva, it's a good drive. Well, he's timed the absolute socks off of that one. That's going to go all the way. It's a maximum over the top for Ishan De Silva. Lovely booming cover drive. Doesn't get much better than that. It's a great way to get, get off the mark for De Silva. <laughs> what a start. We've seen De Silva hit plenty of those, haven't we? Over the last couple of matches for Bulgaria. It's a good start, this. I'm going to clip this into the leg side. It's just going to be given. Not going to go for anything. It's going to be a dot ball. So 11 coming off of that first over. Bulgaria, they're 11 for none after the first. Really good start there. Two boundaries in that first over. Obviously, if you're joining us, I hope you're all doing well. If you are in the YouTube chat, do say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. Very sunny, warm day here in Malta on the Mediterranean island. Really haven't seen a cloud all day. It's just going to be the exact same for the rest of the week. We've had two really good games. So Gibraltar getting one over Bulgaria in the first game of the day. And then just as we just saw Romania. They got one over Czech Republic, so things on the table looking tight. Michael H, he's watching from Australia. Well, Michael, hope you're doing well. Nice to see you in the chat. He's been there a few times today. It's a good start. As you say, just clips this into the leg side. Uh, it's going to go for one run. And I think if Bulgaria are going to Look to set a good total here. Really going to need to make the most of this power play. And again, these two are more than capable. Obviously, Hussein was in at number three earlier, but came in in the first over. So he'll know what's expected of him. And he went, he went well with 64 runs. Getting out early. And it wasn't too costly as they ended up winning the game. So he'll be happy with that. And we saw this very similar against, again, yesterday for the Silver against the Czech Republic. 
Anything just short, back of the length outside off, just struggles a little bit, just, uh, especially early on. Not getting those feet moving. And just ends up going through to the keeper for a dot ball. There's an appeal. And I don't think there was anything on it. I couldn't hear anything. No, not, nothing there for me. <laughs> Same area once again. You can see the silver just struggling ever so slightly after getting off the mark with that booming cover kind of drive for six. Just struggling here slightly. I think the interesting thing here will be to see where the usual openers come in. See, number three and four promoted to one and two respectively. This is Fuller and it's well played by the Silver, it's kept out. This is a really good over from Raj Kuma so far, just the one off it. And I'm sure there are going to be plenty of Romania fans watching on as they look to make it two from two today. Didn't have any victory so before the start of today's play. And they've got one. And there is second game. Just short. And again, that's uh, really actually well played by the Silver. And it's a young man. Ah, oh, he's just going to miss out there. He just struggles because he's gone all the way into the changing rooms. But it's a good way to finish for the silver. It's four runs for Bulgaria. Okay, a good chase. He almost got there, but you just think if he went with the dive, he might have done better. But at the end of the second over, Romania, they're going to be happy, Bulgaria. They're 16 for none. We get an updated look now at that scoreboard. And... Two teams sat on two points, Romania and Gibraltar. Romania bringing up that first victory just a couple moments ago. We take a look once again. Malta, well, they're confirmed, aren't they, for the final on Sunday as they're four from four. Bulgaria sat on the bottom of that run rate, that net run rate. That's because of that game against Czech Republic. Czech Republic, their net run rate now, just taking a bit of a hit after that loss. Their two wins and two losses from their four games are the Czech Republic, losing to both Romania and Malta. So we are in for a really exciting next couple of days of cricket as we continue here in the third. Good shot from Hussein and Mishra. He collects that. It's going to be the one run for Hussein. Interesting that the wicketkeeper standing up once again to Mishra. Doesn't want to give the batsman that freedom of advancing down the track or making what would have been back for length into a good into a almost slot delivery. And a good decision from Matty Gottler, who's taken over with the gloves here this game. That's an inside edge from De Silva and good work from the young man Geddes him on the angle. Matty Gottler, well, he was doing a really, really good job uh, in the last game. It's a good take from the keeper. Hussein looking to go big as it's short and wide. Misses out there. Mishra coming across the left-handed. Same Hussein. It's an edge, and he's taken it. It's a really good catch from Sathisan, and Mishra gets the man. Same who's saying he has to go. And we'll just take another look here. It came at him really quick. It's a big swing from Hussein, looking to go into the leg side. And Sathisan, you see how much that means to them. It's an early breakthrough, and Bulgaria, they're 18 for one. As we're at now, I'm going to see the captain 
Prakash Mishra come out to join Ishan De Silva. And Prakash, he needs to go big, doesn't he? Always does. He's only going to go one way. I'm going to see him tickle it around and wait and take his time. He's going to go from the off. He'll be on strike, won't he? As Mishra gets another wicket in the tournament. He's doing really well so far. So Mishra to face up for his first delivery. Looks to go into the leg side. And he's going to start with well, it's really good work from the man out in the deep. That's Vasu Saini, as we've seen him do it plenty of times this week. Ends up being just a one run. Oh, no, well, I'm wrong. It's given four runs. Well, obviously he must have made contact with the rope. And ends up being four. So a good way to get off the mark for Mishra. As we just take another look here. I don't really know what they've given four for there. I don't. I have to say, I'm confused myself. I think they're going to change. I don't really understand what's, why that's being given. It's very clearly not four runs. No, it's not going to be given as they retract that from the scorebook. So Mishra, rightly so, just gets the one run. Good work out there by Sini. He's going to, not going to want to have that taken away from him. So it just gives us a moment just to let you know about obviously what's coming up later on. We've obviously got Sweden at the moment. And we go to Stockholm for two weeks on Monday. And after that, we're off to the Czech Republic and then Hungary in June as well. So really, lots of cricket coming for you on the C European Cricket Network as the Silver's on strike. Again, that's a lovely shot. He's really strong through that area. And that's going to run away. Four runs. This time it is four for Bulgaria. Uh, it's a really good shot from the silver. Makes use of the bit of extra pace of Mishra, and that's going to go all the way. Four runs. And at the end of the third, Bulgaria, 23 for one. And he's going to see. Raj Kuma continue here. We had a good over, didn't he, off his first? Just the five runs coming from it. Good I measure with the breakthrough there, as, as he's saying, he could be really dangerous in this format, especially. Has to go, and it has to be said. I feel that that's a really big wicket. It's a good, good time to take that halfway through now. The power play. Uh, just drop. Well, it's just not. Oh no! It could be. Well, Mishra and De Silva, no communication whatsoever. And we just take a replay here. It's really not very good from these two. He drops and runs, and there's not really a yes, no. It doesn't look like there was a call at all. And then he went and then turned away and he limps away, struggling on a bit of an injured knee. Is Mishra? Just a bit. Of interesting calling there, or a lack of communication rather. But it's still there. And this time they do run through for the single, more confident call there. And Mishra comes through for the single. Going to bring the silver back on strike. Raj Kuma to continue here. Just the five coming off of his first over. That's a lovely drive, but there's a man out there. 
to cut that one off. It should just be the single and will be. And brings Prakash Mishra back on strike. And once again, if you are in the YouTube chat, do let me know where you're from, who you're supporting. I know there's a lot of support for Romania around the world. Prakash Mishra on strike. This is going to be given a leg side wide from Raj Kumar. Take another look. A bit of movement, but a lateral movement for the man. See if we can have a reply now, Raj Kumar. Uh, finds the edge. It's good work from the 15 year old. Once again, Garrison is a bit of a magnet to the cricket ball at the moment. It's following him around, but he's really doing well. Obviously, he took two outstanding catches, that second one in particular. <laughs> really had some air time on it, and he did really well to bring that one safely into his hands. That's a really good delivery from Raj Guma Mishra. Not really getting his feet moving. And not really in his style, is it? And you just see anything of that on top of the off stump, back of a length, he's going to struggle with, isn't he? Okay, but to finish off his second over here. As Mesha just drops this into leg side, and it's going to be. Uh, I think that could. Well, Kumar might have done himself some damage there as we come to the end of the fourth over. Bulgaria, 26 for one. Bridge saying he sports no one, but loves watching cricket as a neutral, and I have to agree. Because again, we've seen some really, really interesting cricket over the last couple of days, and it's certainly set to continue with. The final groups games tomorrow. And then finals day on Sunday. Really, really looking forward to this. I just don't want the time to end here at Malta, though. I had a really enjoyable first three days, nearly at the end of the fourth. And it's been an incredible experience to be here on the European Cricket Network. I just don't want it to end. And we're going to see a change of bowling. So Mishra just being held back. For later on in the innings, as it looks like it's going to be Ijaz Hussain to continue at the far end as he makes his way into the attack. That's kept low from Ijaz Hussain, and that's a really good first ball, first up. Arm Hussain, and again, he bowled really well in that previous game against the Czech Republic. And the silver hasn't really had much of the strike, with Mishra taking the last over. And he gets an edge on this one. This is going to run through, and well, the man there tries. There's a good, good effort in, and he's just going to struggle as that's just come in for the second. The man there, Cosmin's a boy. But he got an over in, didn't he? he didn't bowl too bad, did he? The Romanian native did really well. He's done really well in the field. And just come some please don't end. Well, the cricket will never end here on the European Cricket Network. There's plenty more cricket coming up throughout this year. Oh, and that's an absolute beauty of a delivery. Ishan De Silva plays all around that. And you have to say this, that Hussein, really, really good ball from him. As we're going to be able to take a look, as we take another look at this. I imagine that this has moved. This is why it's been, it's just gone through the gap. And he's thrilled with that wicket. It's a really good bit of bowling. And you can just see what he says there. That was hooping around. De Silva has to go, which means Bulgaria, they find themselves at 28 for two. Which brings in former opener, 
Here's Lakov in at number four. And well, we see two original openers. They're back in together in the middle. And these two probably saying, well, I don't know if I was expecting to see you here, but nice to have you here. Wish it was under better circumstances, I'm sure. Chris Lakov, he's been put down to number four. And some saying that earlier that this might be a better place for him to be. Uh, well, we're going to see, give him an opportunity here at number four as he starts well. It's going to be driven to sink in the, in the covers. So, Volgari obviously winning the toss. He finds himself 28 for two. That's a fuller delivery. And he's just going to hit this to the man at mid-off. It's just going to be the one run. Akash Mesher on strike. Just the two runs for him off of his six deliveries so far. Yeah, to really get going. No boundary for him yet. Two new batsmen in now. As he's going to let this one go. Let's, let me give him wide. Mishra, a little bit bemused as to why. Really good start for Hussein here, as that's going to be the end of... And going to be the end of the over. And Hussein, well, that's a really... Really good over from him. One wicket for just the three runs. As Bulgaria finish the fifth over on 29 for two. And once again, plenty of coverage coming over of European cricket over the next couple of weeks. So obviously we finish here on the 15th. And that takes us to Stockholm. Up in Sweden, where Mr. Maximo will be returning in the comms box. And that goes from the 16th of May to the 28th of May. And then after that, uh, we're off to the Czech Republic. And then from there, we go into Hungary into June. And there'll be plenty of cricket after that. As we come back to live action here, we're signing into the attack. Well, it's short. Oh, there's, oh dear, there's a bit of a yes, no, maybe. And he could be gone. The umpire, well, not too sure what's going on here. I don't know. I don't think so. Doesn't look like it's going to be given. Everyone's sort of waiting around, waiting. We just take a look here. Oh, he's gone, isn't he? Yeah, for me, that, that he's gone there. And I think, well, did he just remove the bail there with his foot on the base of the stumps? And I think he did. So it's when he takes them out. I think he might be safe here now. And I think that might just be what they're looking for. Right, oh, he's given him. Well, that's a huge wicket and Lakov has to go. Oh, I don't know if he's going to be really happy with that as we just saw on that replay that the, the foot of the wicketkeeper just hit the base of the stunts before the ball managed to get his way there. And that ends up going to be out for Lakov. Well, he goes for just the one run. So well, that means that Bulgaria are now 29 for three. Just see here, it's a good start from Saini. And then there was a yes, no, and well, you have to say that Prakash Mishra, well, his running and calling in the middle has not been up to standard as that's the second mishap in the middle now and just five overs. As that brings in Kevin de Sousa now as Bulgaria. Well, they're 29 for three. And they're struggling here, aren't they? And they're missing some key batsmen. And the Magrasul 
It is a really, really big miss for them. So obviously, Saeed Hussein, he's gone. Lashanda Silva also gone. And Chris Lakoff, well, hey, that's the three batsmen that Bulgaria have really been relying on over the course of this tournament so far. So, a big ask of the middle order and the tail here so early on. Kevin Souza, he's more than capable, averaging around the 23 mark for Bulgarian international cricket. See Saini here continuing. That's short. And Shub says that's okay. It's not going to be given away to the Sals. Just lets that one go. So get another look here. That's a tough call. And generous from Shub. But it's consistent, which is all again all you can ask for. And the officials have been pretty up, pretty top notch here this week. That's a solid defence from the Sals up into the leg side. And you just feel that Mishra isn't really going to be going to be giving any quick ones to the Salza. So it could be in for an interesting few overs now as we're into the last over of the power play. And he just lets this one go. And it's going to be another dot ball. Sal's up, solid defence behind that. And it's just going to be played into the offside for a dot ball. And you do feel with, you have to say, their three main batsmen back in the hut. Bulgaria really struggling now at 29 for three. And you think one more and it could be really, really tough for them to come back from that. Well, that's a really nice shot from the Sal's and that's going to run away. I think it's going to go all the way, and it does. It's a really nice shot from Kevin DeSouza to get off the mark as he finishes the over with a lovely four. And it's a really nice way to finish the power play. That's Bulgaria at the end of six. And they're at 33 for three. A good shot from Kevin DeSouza. So these two, Prakash Misha, we've seen, can really go well if he gets going if he can get going and that's going to be a really good start for Bulgaria and coming to Salza again more than capable of getting some vital runs and I think now if you lose another one then you're just really going to want to go and grab something that you can give your bowlers something to defend certainly not out of this our Bulgaria as they just get the third to three. Obviously, their first over was the best for them, with 11 coming from it. As we continue here, Amesha oh, trying to play across the line. As you'll see on this replay, really dangerous shot from Mishra in this circumstances, in the context of the game. It's really good bowling. It's hooping by Ijaz Hussein. Just the three overs coming from his three runs coming from his first over. Trap, crash Mishra, two off of just eight deliveries now. And again, looking to go big, and you just think, just needs to look at getting bat on ball and rotating the strike, but he's looking like he's going to go, try and go big. Good shot from Prakash, but obviously looks like he is just carrying a bit of a niggle. So it's just going to be the one run. Brings coming to Salza on strike, as he's saying. Continues hit. This is just played into the leg side. And 
picked up by Young. Now Young get us in. The young Romanian. He's had a really good day once again in the field. Two outstanding catches. Good shot from Kevin de Sousa, which just played to the man. It's going to be one run. Um, Ali Rasul just asking about Amar Rasul. Well, unfortunately, he's had to take a break from this game, Amar Rasul, as he had an injury to his shoulder in the previous game. So he's had to sit this one out, which brings Ivala Katadzki in. Oh, there's a big appeal, and the finger goes up. And you just feel that, well, with the movement of the ball in the air, that that was going to go. As we just have a look here, he swings, he's set right across, and you can tell that just stepping right across there and playing across the line, that the umpire's more than likely going to give that one if you struck on the pad. And it, things go from bad for worse for Bulgaria. And they're now at the end of seven overs, 35 for four. Uh, you now see number six coming in in just the seventh, eighth over now as Asad Ali comes in. Thirty-five for four. Well, the last thing that we saw that were in this sort of situation were hungry. They were up against Bulgaria, in fact as they ended up being 44 for four after the power play and ended up going on to win that game. Bulgaria, they're still, still here searching for their first victory. Asad Ali, more than capable batsman, really had much of an opportunity as he's coming quite late in the game. This is a good chance for him now to rebuild with Kevin de Souza, two good friends in real life. And they're going to be more than excited at this opportunity. As it's a good start from Suki Sahi. Comes into the squad again for this game for the Romanians. Uh, well, it could be an opportunity for Gala Mish. For Marian Garasim to have a ball. We might see him as we. For Salza, it looks to go big. It's a bit of a full toss from Suki Sahi. It's just going to be. Right, they're going to come back for two, and that's good running. And they're going to need more of them. Ah, oh, the Bulgarians. Yeah, some our result has been uh, left out due to an injury here. And it's good cricket from these two here, just rotating the strike. Good from Kevin the Sal's up. Sadly, gets to be facing up his first ball here. That's going to be a leg side wide from Suki Sahi. And he's getting a run out in the team here. Uh, so good shot from Assad Ali as he just sweeps that down to the man on the angle, and that's just going to be the one run. <laughs> and just a big bit of chatting there about. It's good bowling from. Suki Sahi. Uh, but yeah, Omar, I saw big miss. Managed to get a bit of a word in with him. He just said, yeah, he just pulled, just a neat to shoulder. As I think he was going for a big shot. And then, obviously, he wasn't supposed, wasn't supposed to be throwing it very far. That's a really nice shot from the Salsa. It's just going to find the, well, he's going to find the man. He nearly lets it go through and does he, Jazzy Sane, but it ends up just being the one run. Yeah, just throwing his shoulder, I think, as he threw 
the ball in as we finish the eighth over. Mulgara 40 for four. But yeah, just ended up with a bit of a, a, a tickle to the to the shoulder. So he's dropped out for this game. As we just take a look there, Ishanda Silva, currently the only batsman getting into double figures. And a bit of a collapse as the top four go. As it's we'll continue here, it's flicked into the leg side, and again, it's just going to be the one rung. Asad Ali on to face. First ball from the bowler here. And it's a good shot from Asad Ali as he just drives this one to the man in the deep. It's going to be the one run. And Bradley Constantine just saying, no, how all these guys can play shame. They're not showing it to the world. Just struggling this week are the Bulgarians. As Hussein continues, that's a good shot. Play back to the bowler from De Souza. No, I mean, I was out there in Sofia personally for the ECS just a few weeks ago. There was some serious talent on show. And they really are talented cricketers, but just struggling, I think, this week. Just the conditions and, and other things involved. And that's going to be given a wide by the umpire for Ijaz Hussain. And Asalza looks to go big, but he might have picked up the man. Well, oh, Mishra, that's not going to help the cause. Do you really feel if they'd taken that, then it would have been, uh, could have been the nail in the coffin for the Bulgarians there. Uh, it's a good shot from Asalza, but just picks the man out, doesn't he? As he just parries that off his shoulder. Six runs for Bulgaria. It's just the second of the innings. Obviously, a nice drive from. Ishan De Silva earlier on, but De Souza now moves on to 16. That's a good response from Hussein. Really good response. Uh, that's going to be a dot ball after it squirted into the offside and that's going to bring us to the end of the ninth over Bulgaria well, they've reached 50 and they're 50 for four after the nine and good bit of bowling from Ijazi Sane two wickets for him and the one wicket for Gaudav Mishra obviously with a run out involved in there as well hence just the three wickets for the bowlers As it's Suki Tai to continue. That's Adley on strike. And that's a good shot into the offside. They could come back for two. I think it's only going to be the one. Okay, maybe if they just ran that first one hard. And they really are going to need every run hit if they're going to try and make a game of this. Obviously, talented batsman in the Romanian side. So you need something to bowl at for the bowlers here. And De Salza, well, that's hit really hard, but again, finds the man out in the deep. So it's just going to be the one run. It brings Asad Ali back on strike. Well, he's put above his eye line. And just likes to go for a big swing. Doesn't connect though, does he? It's good bowling from Sukisahi here. Wasn't really on was that shot. 
Perez again. This one just placed into the offside for a single. Again, a good over from Suki Sahi. And again, just dropped into the offside, and this is good running. This is all these two need to do at the moment as they look to rebuild after what's been a poor performance from the top order here against Romania. And he goes up, and he's not going to catch enough of that, and it's just going to fall just outside the 30-yard circle as, again, finishing the over with just a single. And that's going to be five off that over, so they're going to take drinks here, which gives us a chance to go ahead and take you over to what's going on over in Sweden as I pass you on to Rico and Rhino for the little drinks breaks here. Right, with the call to bring him on. That was a Gundy ball, it will go to the boundary for four. But still, that's still just only seven of the 12 that they were looking to try and get from it. So it's still a good one, but he lets himself down horribly here. Drags this really short and wide down the leg side. It was a Gundy ball, and he goes for four runs. And uh, the score moves on to 50. Exactly. Hello, everybody. And uh, what a day we've had. Our house is being blown apart. You can see uh, bits of pieces are... Uh, uh, sort of fraying all over the place the wind has really picked up but it's keeping us dry as we have another shower i uh, hope you've had a fantastic uh, day watching in thank you to everybody in the chat thank you to all the moderators you are the best viewers we can ever wish for and uh, thank you for making us feel so welcome here as well it's been an absolutely brilliant day here malta there's been plenty of action there as well and uh, we'll give you some of the information uh, maybe you'll be able to switch to the dual screen at some point as well will be a wide so some of the action in Malta I'll give you some information two matches that I uh, you know the information on Gibraltar they got a win today 213 to 192 against uh, Bulgaria and then Romania well thanks to a, a century from Tarajit Singh well about it Tarajit up in the air and he goes to the area with an outfield oh that would have been an amazing cat he's uh, has he saved he's that Rico? saved it as well uh, as we return back to live action here in Malta, I have to say, just looking at the pictures we got there from Mo from Sweden, I do not envy their weather. A bit of rain around, some wind. Well, here on the Mediterranean in Malta, we really are seeing some of the best weather for cricket. 28 degrees today, not really that much wind. Beautiful, beautiful sight. blue skies here. As we're going to return back to the action, it's Tarantic Singh's into the attack. Oh, that's going to be given. Yeah. Taranji Singh comes in, first ball, and he's going to have to go. He's still there. Let me just take another look here. Uh, possibly going high, possibly. Well, Asada Lee is going to have to go now, isn't he? And you just feel Asada Lee as he goes. That's Bulgaria. That's now 55 for five here in the 11th over. And that means an end to Assad Ali. Brings in a new batsman, Jacob Albin, as he comes in to, sorry, not Jacob Albin. Brings in Delory Vinny. I wonder now, at this point, are they just going to try and go here, see if they can just get some quick runs on the board? As that's going to be given a wide, so not the best first delivery to give to a new batsman. In circumstances like this, just gets him a chance just to settle the nerves a little bit. Let's this one go. As that one's well played. And it goes into the offside for a dot ball. Absolutely not envying that rain going on up in Sweden at the moment.
And as that pops up, and it's going to race through. They should come back for two here. There's not really anyone there. And they do end up coming back for two, and that's a good running from these two. Now, the scene continues. That's well played again from Vinu. Really good bit of batting there. He's just rotating the strike, and that's all you can do at this point, really. There's James Stewart, Suffolk. Good afternoon, James. And, well, again, just take some moment. Just thank everyone in the chat as Taranjit Singh continues here and decides on strike. Really good delivery from Taranjit Singh. Um, I do appreciate everyone taking the time to take a listening here or if you're watching throughout the day. This is short and he pulls this. There is a man out there. It's the young man. Oh, he's just dropped him. And you just have to feel that's a real shame for the young man as he's done really well in the field today. Maybe just a bit of lack of concentration. It came to him quickly and he's just dropped it and it's going to end up being the one run as we see the end of the 11th over Bulgaria. Well, they're 60 for five. And that's going to bring on, I believe it's going to be 16 to continue. It's There's going to be Suki Zai to continue here. And they really feel that they can do a number over here on Bulgaria. As it's the Salzman strike as he's on 19. It's a good shot into the leg side. It's just going to be the one run as Raj Kuma fills that one. And Tajit Singh on the backing up as well. As it brings Derek Vinu on strike. Okay. And this one again just pops up. That's the second or third time that Vinu's just let it pop up. I wonder if they're going to get someone in close. See if they can get him catching as he just plays it in, a little bit in front of him. Just pops up off his bat. It goes big into the leg side. And it's just going to trickle to the man out there it's going to be the one run the Salzer goes big and there is a man out there and it's just going to be one oh has he just stopped that and he has first through him originally but he does well to recover and Steve Cook comes into the chat just saying after you know, just been Sweden we're coming through with wind well not gonna have that issue here at the moment we've got some beautiful weather and it's been really good the last few days uh, that's just gonna be fended down by Vinu and obviously just oh I say that I think just sneak through for a single as I turn to look at the chat and and yeah we had a bit of rain in the first day, just for about 15, 20 minutes or so. But since then, it's been clear skies and high 20 degrees. Really lovely cricket weather. Asai finishes it over here, and it should just be... It's going to end up being a dot. That's again a really good over from Sukisahi. And it comes to the end of the 12th, Bulgaria. 64 for 5. And every time you say Vinny, I hear Vinny. Well, Vinny will be back next week as we get to take another look at the standings here and Romania well, they got their first win today earlier on against the Czech Republic and Bulgaria their three losses from three at the moment so they're just struggling a little bit here in this tournament and they would have expected themselves to do a bit better plenty of cricket still to come though obviously one last match day of groups tomorrow group matches tomorrow and then obviously finals day so Plenty of cricket for all teams still remaining here in the Valletta Cup. Uh, as Tarajit Singh continues. That's a lovely shot from Delrick Vinny. 
Just places this into the offside for a single. And uh, Vinny will be back in Stockholm. He's ready for next week, and he's going to be—he's really eager to get back on the comms. I know he's way to fans. So that's flighted up, and he's hit that really well. That's going to go all the way. That's another six for Bulgaria. Kevin De Salza, hes not going to miss out. He's still a talented batsman. Here's De Salza, and that's a lovely shot for six runs. And yeah, Vinny, he's ready. There's the Stockholm series starts two weeks in Stockholm. It's an entire month up in Sweden. That's short, and he rocks back and just gets this one round the corner. It's a big chase on for these two down here, and it should end up just being the two runs. It's a good chase by Cosmin there. He's had a good day out in the field again. And also... Had a bit of a go with the ball earlier in that last over against Czech Republic. How do you think? Oh, as good as an over as last time. The sounds up. He looks the winds up. You can see that it's gone high, but it's going to take some catching. It's Sarajit Singh under it. And he doesn't get there. And it's going to be a bit of a struggle. He did well. Went really high. And you can see the sounds with his back lift was just looking to go big here to attack Sarajit Singh. I didn't get all of it, but he managed to survive. And that's another two runs. And again, he goes big into the leg side. That's going to be another six runs for De Souza. There's a little bit of life left in this batting lineup. And once again, you can see with that back lift, he's really going for him here in Taranji. And that's gone a long, long way. Six runs. For Bulgaria. De Salza. Well, he moves on to 37 now. And sensibly plays this into the offside. So it's a good over for Bulgaria. One of the best ones they've had so far. As they finish the over on 81 for 5 after 13. 18 runs coming off of just that one over. Really, really helping the total here. As they're just going to look now just to give some, something for the bowlers to bowl at. As if they come in after their 20 overs or their batting innings for less than 100, you feel. Just isn't really much of something for the bowlers to bowl at. And I'm sure there'll be some Tarajit Singh fans. Won't be happy with what's just happened there. But he's had a really good day with the bat. And it took an absolute blind of a catch early on. As Vinny just blocks this one back to the ball. A bit of respect. Vinny Saini. Basu Saini with a really good first over, just the four coming from it. No wicket for him yet. Uh, that's going to be a dot ball. Asu Saini, he's been one of the one of the good bowlers for Romania, really economical. As it's uh, don't Delbert Vinny on strike. Again, trying to play that shot. Just not getting that back foot across. That ends up being another dot ball. You just think she needs to get bat and ball here again. You can just see. Doesn't make contact with it. And he gets an edge on this one, and this is going to fly over the top. And the young man's going to give way, but I think he's going to get there. That's going to be four runs from Delbrick Vinny. Ends up being a good shot as he plays this over the top. It's a good shot in the end from Vinny. And in terms of, there's a question in the chat. 
just where Bulgaria rank. They're currently 64th in the world. But in terms of this tournament, they're bottom of the table at the moment. And again, that's a better shot from Vinny, which is really, really good. Bit, good partnership, this, from these two. As Vinny now moves on to 11. This partnership being worth it's over 30 now. That was in the 11th over that Vinny made his way to the crease. This is short, and the Salsa, I think he's okay. That's a good ball from Tiny. And just for context, as we see at the end of the 14th, Bulgaria 86 for five. And yeah, just for a little bit of context there. Bulgaria 64th in the ICC T20 rankings. And Romania, well, they're 37th, so a bit of a gap between these two. And some would say that it's showing, but I think if we've seen anything in this game, in this tournament, for sure, is you don't really want to base your predictions off the rankings. Hungary, they're not ranked at all by the ICC. Well, they're second in the group. That's going to be a wide down the leg side, is it? A bit of pad on it there from Vinny as the umpire doesn't give it. The wide ball. Well, that's good. That's definitely going to be a wide. He's saying with the effort ball. Doesn't quite get that one right. That's a good, solid defence from Dalric Vinny. Playing well here. 11 off of 13. Doing a good job coming in. And number seven. And that's going to come off the pad. And a good look for two. I don't think they're going to. Tanjit Singh. Good arm on him. So I don't think they're going to go for it. Ends up being just the one leg by. Brings the sales on straight. Well, he's moved to 37. Off of just 30 deliveries uh, with three sixes in that and just the one four as he steps across and he's just going to run through for the one leg by once again. So it brings Vinny. Back on strike, and this has been once again a really good over from Usain in his final over of his spell. Oh, that's a really good bit of fielding from the man there. And ends up getting just the one run. It's really good from Raj Kumar. And Usain will appreciate that as he's done really well. Some good figures here against Bulgaria. Hanging cross seam by the looks of it. Just getting rid of that swing. Uh, there's a bit of a shoelace issue. I think Wicked just saying, oh, go on, just tie him together, see how he does. But, yeah, we just get a minute just to thank everyone for being involved here today. Whether you were watching on YouTube or on Fan Code in India, it's been an absolute pleasure bringing you some really tight, Good, entertaining cricket. Wow, oh, the sound that goes big, and I think he's really timed that. Well, that's the biggest hit that we've had all week. Now, you're not going to get that ball back. The Salsa goes big. Six runs. Well, he's absolutely timed that to perfection. Over the sight screen, that's the biggest that I think we're going to see all week. And there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel for Bulgaria as they move to 96 for five after 15. Well, that was, that was an incredible shot. 
It was just in the slot. Stand and deliver stuff from De Souza. Just giving Bulgaria a bit of hope here as they move to the last five overs now of their innings. As it's going to be Saini to continue. Well, that was a huge shot from Kevin de Souza there. Massive. Oh, that's an interesting delivery from Saini. It's going to be given a wide. So, again, Bulgaria getting up there nearly at that 100 stage now. I don't think if they can get anything plus of 130, maybe. I think they'll be quite happy considering where they were. And Vinny, he's just, again, struggling a little bit, isn't he? Just going up more than six and over now. So, this has been a really good rebuild. This partnership, not far off of 50 now. And he just needs to rotate the strike here. That's a really good shot out into the offside. Should just be one. That's good work from the man out there. From Gaudaf Mishra. Does really well. And Vinny. Well, we haven't really seen him play many shots, have we? Tiny to continue here in just his third over. Wow, and Kevin goes big, but he hasn't quite got all of this. Oh, that's a really good catch, but that's a bit of a shame for Kevin de Salza. But what a catch that is from Raj Kumar here down at long on. And Kevin has to go with a really well made 47, 43 off of just 30. Three deliveries, it's a good catch from Raj Kumar. Tiny's so deserved that wicket. And he's walking off to applause from his entire team. As without his contribution, going could have been close from over. Got a visit from the main man, Taranjit Singh. Come and say hello to me in the commentary box. Uh, he'll be looking forward to getting out there in the bat. As it brings a new man in. And so I'm just saying there about Elric Vinny. Well, he's currently scored six of his runs down to third man. So that's just showing it. And then two of them at point. That's just showing it. Might need to get another shot in the book for him. As he's on strike now. And once again, he plays this out to the offside. It's going to be a good shot. I think he does well here. Uh, that's really unfortunate from a Bulgarian perspective. It's good work for Kardab Mishra. He's just going to keep it to the two. So we've really only seen him play that cut shot. But he hits it's just in front of square. I mean, uh, the man here does really well. Keeps it in the play. And once again goes, but there's a man out there, and it's just going to be one bounce to Mitt. The man, Mishra, out there. And it brings the new man, Jacob Albin, on strike. That's the 100 up now. Bulgaria. Well, Jacob Albin's been watching a little bit too much of Derek Vinny as he looks to cut this down to third man. And that brings us to the end of the 16th over Bulgaria. 101 for six. 
Yeah, really good innings from Kevin DeSales of that. Just see here. Large Kuma only going for the eight overs off his four two overs, but Basu Saini in his third over taking a wicket. There's a big wicket of the sales up. Just being informed that Alvin Jacob is his real name, is the name, not Jacob Alvin. So many apologies for that. And we'll confirm that one and get it corrected. It's good. The defence from Dalric Vinny. As he just blocks this one back to the bowler for a dot ball. And he plays this into the leg side. Looks to go a bit attacking, but doesn't get much of it. Give me another dot ball. This is good from Raj Kumi, who's been gifted with another over after taking a really good catch out in the deep. Uh, long on. Uh, Vinny goes over the top into the leg side. Uh, it's calls of two, but I don't think they're going to quite get that. And we move on to bring Albin on strike. It's the one delivery. You have to get off strike, off of the mark, and he just plays this one into the pitch. And it ends up just being a dot ball. Well played by Jacob Alvin as that just ends that one back to Kumar. Just the one off this over so far. And that's going to be a wide and Kumar just turns around straight away. He has to bowl that one again. Puts into the offside, looking to get off off the mark. It doesn't quite. And that's going to be a really good over again from Kumar. Just the two runs from it. And that's going to be the end of the 17th. Bulgaria 103 for six. We move into the 18th over, and it's going to be Cosmin Zaboy back on to bowl. Well, we saw him earlier against the Czech Republic. And he's going to get another couple of overs in here. So it's going to be Cosmin to, to start his spell once again. He's looking to pick up an o a wicket hit and is over. It's a good start when it goes up and it's going to be himself to take this. And he's taken it. Well, there we go. And Cosmin's got his first wicket in international T20. And uh, it's really, really good to see how much that means to him as we're going to be able to take another look here. Let's go straight up. He gets it on the second attempt. Goes straight through him in the first time. And 
bit of a relief as he takes that second time. It's really good to see. As Derek Vinnie, well, he's done well. 17 off of 23. Uh, he has to go. First ball, first wicket for Galrav Mishra. Oh, he's sorry, Cosmin Zavoy. The correction there, my mistake. Can't get that one wrong, can I? And this one's just put into the leg side. Should just be the one where they're going to come back for two, and that's good running by these two in there as the new batsman. Think of Alvin on strike. It's up again, and there's another chance here. It's going to take some catching. Oh, and he's just missed out there. And Cosman, he's going to be furious. He should have had two in the over. And uh, Cosman, he's just ready to go again. And that one was dropped by the man here. Well, Rasko, he took a really good catch earlier. Can't just keep hold of that one. As uh, so that one's going to be down the next side. I think he's just saying, I should, uh, should have a wicket. This is what you get. Just turns around and gives the batsman one more run that they've got to tick off. He looks to go into the leg side. There's a man there. He's going to come round and... He does really well. And that's Aftab Kayani out there doing a good job. So good to see Cosman get his first international wicket here. It's a good catch, good caught and bold. That's Ankarno. Oh, that's going to go out to the offside. I think it's going to go for four. As Tanji see, well, he can't quite get there. And that's a good shot from Khan as he just puts this over the infield. And it just trickles over the boundary for four runs. Overall, it's been a good first over here for Cosman. These runs, all these runs are important now for Bulgaria. And I'm wondering if we're going to get to have a look at Marianne Garrison, the young 15-year-old. Possibility here. And uh, that's a really good end to the over for Cosmin. And you have to say, that's a really good over from him. Just a 10 coming off it, but he gets the wicket. And he's going to be buzzing with that, I'm sure. And it looks like our wishes are going to come true here. As the young 15-year-old is going to be coming onto bowl at the far end. And you just have a look at the worm. They just never really get going, do they, Bulgaria? Because they're going at just above six and over at the moment. Well, at the end of 18, Bulgaria 113 for seven. And we're going to see it here. The young Mar Marianne Garrison, the 15-year-old, coming onto bowl here. And I know there's going to be a lot of people that are excited for this one. He's going to come on to buy. It's a good start from the young man. Is it squeezed out? And that's just going to be the one run. Really good start from him. Two good catches in the previous game. Uh, but this is really good to see him coming on and bowling in an international T20 at just the age of 15. It's a really good talent. This has gone really high. It's going to take some catching. The Sun playing a bit of a... Phantom, it's just gone through the skipper's hands. Oh, and Garrison's going to be really upset there. And Garrison, oh, just the age of 15. Well, he just looks like he's got a bit of pace on him as the young man, as he's in again. 
really good bowling this is from the young man. And you always just have to applaud him. Incredible stuff from the 15-year-old. Really good action as well. It's a great bit of great length there. As he's in again. Oh, not far off that off stump. You can just see how much getting one of these wickets here would mean for him, for the young man. Having been there myself, I just know as a young cricketer, this means so much to him. He's proving really good here, isn't he, the, the young 15-year-old? Serious talent on the books here for the Romanians. Uh, that one is going to be given a wide, but I don't think he's going to be too upset as it gives him another, another chance to have another go. This is really good to see. And he's, you can see the smile on his face. He's really enjoying himself out there. He's had a really good day in the field. A couple of drops with some really good takes as well. This is short on the leg side. And it's going to be given a wide. And he's just, I think, the moment might just be getting into a little bit here. Just needs to keep his head, keep cool, keep calm. Let the ball do the work. He's done really well. Already. And this is short into the leg side. I think this might go all the way. And it is. It's going to go for four runs. It's a good shot from Albin as he just rocks back and hits this one into the leg side boundary. Four runs for Bulgaria. And every little run now help will help for Bulgaria to give them something to defend at. Young Garrison, 15 years of age. Last ball of his over. And he appeals in desperation. And they're going to run through. And it's going to be a single. Well, doesn't quite get the wicket that he would have wanted. Well, there's a bit of an appeal here. I don't really think it's going to come to anything. But at the end of the 19th, Bulgaria, they're at 122 for seven. Uh, it's really good to see that. A really nice moment on the European Cricket Network. As young, very young Garrison came on to the ball. And just the nine coming off of his over. Really, really good promising talent for Romania. And I'm sure we're going to see plenty more of him in the years to come. Well bowled. As we have Cosmin in for the final over. He's going to go and run out in the team again. He does really well. Here in Malta. Obviously, Romania with two actual Romanian born nationals, which is again really good to see. This is up, and Tarajit Singh is going to run in. I don't think he's going to get there. It's going to fall safe. And it's going to end up being just a one run, and these are all valuable runs for the Bulgarians here. Good start this from Cosman, just the two. That's uh, a dot ball, that's good bowling from Cosman here. He's really up for it, isn't he? And I'm sure Pavel Florin's gonna be looking on, he's gonna be really proud to see this moment for both Cosman and Garasim. This just goes into the leg side, and it's gonna be an early call of two, I think, and Khan's gonna turn and go. And it's a good bit of running from these two. Good bit of running, as you just could see here. Doesn't quite get a lot of it. It just goes into the leg side. Uh, that's going to be given a wide. So I'm going to get another go at this one. Oh, that's going to be out to the man in the deep. Is he going to cut that one off? No, it's going to go for four. It's four runs for Bulgaria. And it's vital, vital runs for Bulgaria as they look to give themselves something to bowl at. It's a good shot from Almond as he just rocks back, gives himself time and executes that over to 
the leg side boundary. Four runs for Bulgaria. Well, one last delivery in this over from Cosman. In Bulgaria, well, they'll be happy after being 30 odd for four. <laughs> I think they're going to be, I think he's going to be end up stumped. I'm not too sure. Uh, as we end the 20 overs with Bulgaria, they'll be happy with 131 in the context of things. And again, a really good uh, innings from both teams. Again, played in really good spirit, which is always nice to see. And Tarek just having a word with Raj Kuna, saying, why did you drop that off, Cosman? But as we get to take a look at the highlights here, Garrison, really good in the field, just couldn't quite get that one. And this was a start of the early demise of Bulgaria with that catch from Satisan. But De Silva, he played well, didn't he? Uh, at the top of the order, just got a really, really good bit of bowling from the bowler there. And then, well, these two met in the middle, and there was a big lack, big bit of lack of communication. And eventually, he was given out by the umpire, was Chris Lakov, so he went early on as well. The top order not doing their job for Bulgaria, and luckily for them, the middle order, well, they went well. Then Kevin De Salza, well, he really looked to take the attack to the bowlers as he went 43 off of just 33 deliveries, uh, providing a bit of. Bit of fight against the Romanians here, but I think the main thing that we're going to take away from this innings is we got to see the young 15-year-old Romanian national, Marian Garrison, get a ball in this game. And he looked really good, didn't he look really, again, a really promising talent for Romania in the years to come. And we also saw Cosmin once again coming on for a ball again in the last few overs as he got his first international T20 wicket. Should have had two, it was dropped by Raj Karma in the middle and again just get to see some flurry of boundaries in the last and just about ready uh, to get underway with this reply from, from Romania it's Thysan and Taranjit Singh opening up just a couple of field adjustments As we're almost ready to get going here. And it gives me the opportunity to say, uh, if you're watching on the YouTube channel, you get involved in the YouTube live chat. And if you're watching in the subcontinent India on fan code, we're ready to get underway. And Satisa just respecting that one back. We get this underway, dot ball to start. Lakov looking to continue here. This is wide, and Satisa is not going to miss out on that one. And that's going to go four runs for Satisa. We see here Lakov just dropping short. Not really looking like he's going to trouble Satisa for pace as he just flashes this over the infield. One bounce, four runs into the dugout. Goes in, squeeze into the leg side, and the man out there is going to do the work, and it's just going to be a single. And I see a few people finishing work for the weeks, and we're going to look like and enjoy your weekend. Well, there's plenty of cricket here this weekend. We've got more group games for you tomorrow, and then we go into the finals day on Sunday. We've got the Fifth and sixth playoff, and second and the third and fourth, and then first and second in the final. Really, really looking forward to that. But we've still got plenty of cricket left to go until we get to that. It's fair to say, Bulgaria, they've come up with plenty of energy. Oh, well, I think we're going to have a bit of an issue here. There's just a bit of words from the keeper there. It's 
the first incident we've had. Oh, nice to see. First incident we've had all week. And just getting a bit raveled up here it is Romania. But again, if you have any questions, you get involved in the YouTube chat. Last. It's just a bit of a break here. And you can see that mostly good spirits all around, just that one incident. As it's just nice to see some uh, good conversations going on here in the chat throughout the break. And do read everything that goes on. So it's really interesting to get some people's views and thoughts on some different subject matters. As we're going to return back to action here with Chris Lakoff to continue. And Tarjic seeing on strike. Just lets that one through for a wide. It's going to be a wide delivery from Lakoff. Saying, flicks this into the leg side, and that looks like it's going to run away. Has it got the legs on it? It does. It's going to go four runs for Taranjit Singh. Four runs for Romania here in their chase of the total. Good start from Taranjit Singh. Nice boundary. It's underway. As again, this just comes, uh, and the keeper does really well, does he say? And goes three for a leg by. Uh, so Thysan just puts this into the offside, and it's just going to be a single. And that's going to be the end of the over. With the 12 runs coming from it. It's a good start for Romania. Only need to go at 6.3 and over. So no real risks needs to be taken here in the power play. to just see what's going to be happening here as it looks like it's going to be Asan Khan to continue up at the far end to open up. And there's still a little bit of chat from Hussein. I think I'm partial of just saying, look, let's just get on with the game. We're playing in the right spirit. It mostly has been, apart from this just one little incident here, but well, it's gonna happen in a bit of competitive cricket. As Hassan Khan opening up from the far end for Bulgaria. That's going to be a wide to start with. Bit of a loosen up from Hassan Khan. Short and then wide of the off stump and Zathisa and he doesn't miss those. That goes all the way. Four runs for Romania. Hassan Khan just struggling with his line and length so far. There's that one. That goes the distance. Four runs for Sathisan.
Uh, it's going to be dropped. Well, it's a bit of yes, no, maybe. And uh, Lakov just doesn't get this one cleanly. Steps across to Thiesan, and that's going to squares through to the leg side. But there is a man out there doing a bit of work, so it's going to come through for the one run. It brings Taranjit Singh back on strike. Well, he's four off two. Uh, so Khan to continue. And as well does Chris Lakov, and that's a really good bit of fielding. And it's just going to be a dot ball. And Sabjit Kao in the chat. I was informed by the man himself. That's Taranjit's wife, so a good evening to you. And I hope you're okay and enjoying watching some splendid cricket. Obviously, good morning for your man. Oh, that's a big shout. And I don't think it's going to be given. It's a really good shout. I think it's just too far down. It looks like it's going to be going over. Uh, it's, good, it's a really good ball from Asan Khan, just doing too much. No, really good morning from Taranjit, Taranjit Singh. He's in good form, isn't he? Splendid century for Romania. Goes back of a length. He just plays this. And again, a good bit of fielding from Lakoff in the covers. Oh, Duracell buddy 2.0, isn't it? And it goes into Taranjit Singh there, does the ball, just nips in. And that brings us to the end of the second over. As we get to be, have a look again at the standings at the moment. And again, we just see how much a victory can mean for both teams here. As we get to see it one more time. Bulgaria obviously still... Only team now in the competition without a victory. So I think if they can get a few early wickets here, might be in with a chance, but you would just have to say that Bulgaria, they're going to be struggling, aren't they, with Romania's big hitting batsman. They bat so far down. And Bulgaria, uh, Romania are 19 for no loss after two. Lakoff continues. And uh, Tyson just respects this. And drops it down, respects it. And Lakoff continuing here from the commentator's end. Short and wide. And it bursts through the man there, but it's just going to be the one run as there's cover from Asad Ali out in the deep. And it brings the Thesan back on strike. Lakov continues. That's going to be a wide. Let's bowl that one again is Lakov. Well, and once again, we see Sathisan. Very similar shots, that, again, that we've seen throughout the day and very early on here in his innings as he just slaps that over the infield. And that's four runs for Sathisan. Great shot from the captain, Rama Sathisan. Again, goes over the infield, and that's going to run away for consecutive boundaries. Off of Lakovs over here. He's going big, it's the time. Well, he was in the runs, wasn't he? Kind of got forgotten about almost, as Taranjit Singh went on to make a lovely century. But it's the Thesan. 
He went on to make 50 in the previous game. So he's in, his eyes in, he's seeing it well. Is it short? There's a catching opportunity. Oh, and he's dropped it. You could see that Lakov was just playing a bit of mind games as he brought the man in from deep square leg and then dropped this one in short. And he wasn't expecting it, was he, Sathisan? As we take a look here, as it comes off the edge, and I think that's, that's Jacob Albin. He just runs through it. That's a big drop for Bulgaria. If they're going to have any chance of defending this one, then they're going to need to take those chances, aren't they? That burst through the keeper's hands. And then it should just be the one run. And that's going to be the end of the over. And at the end of the third, and Romania, well, they find themselves 20 30 for no loss. allows me to once again just thank the crew that are here this week from the ECN. You've got myself, Charlie Hunt, and Maxi and Samir doing a great job. Samir with the scoring, Maxi project manager. And don't forget, Spring Productions, well, without them, we wouldn't get any of these pictures that you see on your screen. So, uh, big thanks to Martins, Kirills, and, and Vida as they've done an absolutely outstanding job and will continue to do so for the rest of the week as it's going to be Hassan Khan to continue. Uh, looks like he's going to get a full start. As the umpires are going to go ahead and meet. Again, I think wicketkeeper just in the batsman's ear a little bit. Yeah, there's definitely a word being said to Prakash Mishra. The skipper. Just about the wicket keeper. Obviously getting a little bit chirpy behind the stumps. Which is always welcome as long as it's within good good health, but it seems to be at the moment. Doesn't really seem to be a nice sort of banter that you normally see on the ECN, which is a shame. Because it's been really good throughout the last Couple of days, but as we continue here, well, that's going to be a no ball. It ends up being just the no ball. It's going to be a free hit. Hassan Khan apologises. Obviously, he doesn't do that on purpose. And that'll be his first warning as well. And he does well to duck, to, to duck under that. It was dipping a little bit. So it's going to be a free hit for Sadisan. He goes big, and he think he's not quite got all of that, but I think he's got enough on it, and he does. That's going to go all the way for Ramesh Atisan. Uh, it's going to be a huge six off the no ball free hit. That's uh, another six to the total for Romania. Well, Romania look like they're going to try and do this as quick as possible, aren't they? Sathisa and he now moves to 25 off of just 13 deliveries. Is it short? And he plays this into the offside. Again, really good bit of fielding from Chris Lakov. Lightning in the field, electric at the moment. Sathisa 25 off of 15 deliveries now. And he goes big over the top. Doesn't get all of this. It takes some catching. And he doesn't really know where it is, but it doesn't go all the way for four. Again, just goes to show, ladies and gentlemen, how big that hit was from Kevin de Souza in that first innings. It was huge as it cleared the sight screen.
Well, Satisan this time goes, and this is going to be flat, and it's going to be hard. It's going to go to six runs over the covers. He's timed this really well. Just sits back where it's in a bit of a slot, isn't it, from Khan. He just swings, isn't he, through the line. Six runs for Romania as they move now to 45. And it's a Thysan. Well, he's now on 33 off of just 16. And Romania, you can see, going for a big hit. And again, I have to think that run rate. Things could get tight for that battle for <laughs> second place tomorrow as Khan continues. Uh, oh, he nearly does well. This is just going to be cut off by one. Good work from Prakash Mishra, this captain. As that come through for one. But yeah, net run rate certainly could be a factor. As it's been a few upsets and a few interesting results, to say the least, over the group stage with one more day left. Really could be tight. As the supercomputer's going to have to do some work to work out some tough net run rates. And seeing looks to go big here, doesn't get any of it, ends up being a dot ball. And a dot ball brings us to the end of the fourth over Romania, 46 for no loss. And it's understandable here, as Chris Lakoff looks like he might bowl through and complete his four uh, four overs. Again, been an absolutely outstanding day here in Malta, as we saw Gibraltar. Well, they, they got their first win on the board, didn't they? As did Romania. Romania looked like they're going to be comfortably get through to their second one. Two from two today. That really is going to squeeze things. Tight on the tables. Chris Lakoff continues here. And that's going to be a short delivery. And it's going to be given a wide. Chris Lakoff not impressed with that call. Can you see that? That's going to be one. Chris Lakoff just getting a bit frustrated there. I think he just needs to get on with it here. And a good afternoon to Kitty in the chat. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining us here on the European Cricket Network as we're in the last innings of today's play. It's again, been a really thrilling day of cricket. And it's short, and again, that one's going to be given wide. Should be given wide. Uh, we're going to come together and just have a chat here. Markov just using his head a little bit here. Don't really know what's co eventually come away from that. Really been. Uh, it's given a no ball eventually. So There's going to be a free hit. So, free hit for Romania, eventually. And, well, to be fair to Lakov, that's actually a, a really good short ball as he's followed him, as he's looked to give himself some room. Lakov continues. This is Philip, and Sathisan just sees this one off. And you can see that well, it's, it's played all in good spirit. And there is obviously a little bit of issue with just lack of the umpires there, but Sathisan not seeing much to it. And he sort of gives him a fist bump and says, yeah, it's a good bit of bowling, to be fair. As we get to see Taranjit Singh back on strike. This is short. And this is going to go a long way down there. Is it going to bounce over the boundary? It's given six. I don't think that's right from Shub. 
Uh, yeah, cross it there. And it's going in four rounds for Taranjit Singh. Doesn't really know much, too much about this here. He does get enough on it, and it runs away for four rounds for Romania. They're making light work of this target, aren't they? Not really being troubled by the bowlers as much. Big shot, but it's going to be going down leg, I think. A good bit of bowling again from Lakov. Yeah, it's going down leg. Good call from umpire Shub. He's been really good again today. As have all the umpires. And once again, huge thank you to all of the officials. As without them, we don't get any cricket. So, as we said, we do rely on them very much so. This is Filler. And it should be played. Uh, a bit of yes, no, maybe. Uh, yes, no, yes, no. Eventually, this ends up being a dot ball. As Laka, I was in to continue here. Last ball is a, a very interesting over. And well, Tanjit Singh finishes with a boundary for this over. Really lovely shot from Singh as he just rocks back and punches this one through. Four runs for Taranjit Singh in Romania. It's a really lovely shot. So, at the end of the fifth over, Romania are 57 for no loss. Just requiring, just requiring the 75 off of just 90 balls now. So it's the uh, it's five and over required now from here. As we're going to see, Asad Ali Rematula on to bolt from that far end. Lakov going for 32 runs off of his three overs. Ah, this is going to squeeze through the infield. It's going to run away. It's a lovely shot from Satisan. Ah, that runs away. Four runs for Romania. Not a good start. But Asad Ali, as that one goes the distance, trickles over the boundary. So a lovely shot from Satisa and as he now moves on to 39. Just 21 deliveries. And well, that's his. Oh, it's just over Prakash Mishra there. And it should be cut off, and it is. And it ends up just being. The one run, and that's boundary. Well, that was Ramash Sathisan's fifth four of the innings, along with two maximums from him. Short, back of a length. Uh, rare mistake from Lakov. Oh, it doesn't cost him, as it's just going to come through for a dot ball. Yeah, and they just drop and run. Oh, he's going to be gone here. And around you see, you're saying, well, look, look like we were both going. He then just turns around. So it's a bit of a mistake by the batsman there as Taranji Singh has to go. Didn't really get going. It's some nice shots. You see that? Well, just sort of seemed to stop, did Sathisan. And so he's saying, takes the bails off in vengeance. And we see. 
New batsman coming in. And that's going to be Romania. Well, they're now going to be sat on 63 for one. Uh, a bit of a mistake from Tarantik Singh and Ramash Shathisan in the middle as they struggled to communicate what was going on, which meant there was a run out, so Tarantik Singh has to go. And 14 off of 14. Three fours in there, some lovely shots. Could quite get going. As it brings number... That's for number three in. Satwik Natigotla. He's going to be facing up here against Asad Ali. Push through for a single into the offside. As they're already nearly at halfway here in the chase. That's a decent one. He's sat at 40 at the moment. Just two hits away now for Sathisa. Cuts across, and there's a man out there. It should be collected in ears. It's just, just going to be the one run. As that brings us to the end of the over. The end of the power play. Romania are 63, 64 for one. As we just see here, the difference in the power play as well. They were Plenty of wickets in Bulgaria as well, there? There were three down after the first six overs. Just the one for Romania. And a couple of big overs as well. A few boundaries for Romania. Satisan, oh, he's gone well, hasn't he? As we're going to see, Chris Lakov going to get through his allotment of overs. Going to bowl out early on here. Going to be the new batsman. Tigotla facing up at that far end. As this is going to be a leg side wide. Ball down the leg side, so Lakov is going to have to bowl that one again. It's a good, good bit of bowling from Lakov, just short outside, and it ends up coming through for just the one run. Nanti got back on strike. So Thisa now sat on 42. Uh, just a bit of issue there with. Really close there from Lakov. We'll have to take another look at this as we do. There was a glove on this, and you saying, wow, he struggled behind. The stumps when it comes to actually taking catches. And he just feels like he, again, he's probably missed out there. You'd have to agree. It's short again. It's a T size and pull there. This is going to go four runs for Romania. Uh, making light work of this title, of this target. Yeah, sees that early and waits. Four runs for Romania. 65 needed now. Half of just 82 deliveries. And at this stage, you could just see Okay, really struggled 
Sit there with the bat early on as they lost their top order pretty cheaply. 34 for three at this stage. As this is short. And he's saying, that's another bar you go. And he's not going to be proud of himself. As you see, this one always angling down. That's well played by Natty Gatla, and that should run away for four rounds, and it just does. He sees the short ball from Laka. He's becoming pretty expected now. And they're just going to rock back and just dab this one down to the vacant third man region. Four runs for Romania. That's well played by Hattie Gottler as he just drops and runs into the offside. That's well fielded by Sandeep Nair. And that brings us to the end of the over. The end of the seventh, Romania, at 76 for one. As we get to take a look at the final day of round robin matches tomorrow, well, Hungary, they're going to be back. They had a day off today. We're going to see the Czech Republic. Could be a really important game as net run rate comes into factor. Who wins, who loses again, obviously. As that's going to be a really tight contest. We then move to Gibraltar versus Romania. Well, Gibraltar and Romania both getting their first wins here. And then Malta versus Bulgaria. Malta, they've already confirmed their place in the final. So Bulgaria looking like that's going to be their last opportunity to get some points on the board. As that's going to start at 6.30 GMT, 8.30 Central European and 12 o'clock in India. So do make sure you're here for that on a Saturday where there's going to be plenty of cricket throughout the weekend, both here and obviously up in Sweden. Don't forget, as we look forward to what is going to be a cracking finals day on Sunday. And really looking forward to what's going to happen tomorrow. And I'm sure on that run rate might end up being a factor for some of these teams is that battle for second could end up being between a good number of teams. Really looking forward to that one. As Asad Ali is going to continue here in the eighth. Uh, this is going to be dropped and well fielded by Lakov in the covers once again. It's going to be a dot ball. Uh, that's short, and it's going to be wide, and it's really well fielded by the man out in the deep, and it should just be the one, and it is just going to be the single. So good work from Kevin DeSalzo, he did really well, didn't he, during the innings. Managed to get Bulgaria up to a target. And there's something that they can actually look to try and defend, but it looks like it's going to end up being ticked off. Really simply here, and as long as the Thysan can continue. He's 46. Wow, that's not going to help proceedings, but that's I think it's just going to be okay. And it's going to end up just being a one run. It's a bit of a full toss. Let me look at the, at the no ball. So he's sad, and he moves on to 47 off of just 27 deliveries. Uh, that's going to go straight to the man there. That's Ishan De Silva. And it's going to end up being a dot ball. Good bit of fielding from him. So good shot again, but again, straight to the man in the covers. It's going to be a dot ball. 
So it's actually ending up doing being a pretty good over from Hassad Ali here. Again, on a good spot from Rebatula. And he's just going to block that one back to the bowler. It's a good over from Masad Ali. There's Romania after eight. There, yeah, 79 for one. You see there, obviously, that mix up from Tajik Singh and Ramashatisan. And just remember, going back to that, both set off and Satisan, we just kind of stopped, just kind of paused in his tracks. And. Uh, Rajit Singh it didn't really look like he wanted to stop. As we're going to see the skipper, Prakash Mishra, come in to the attack for Bulgaria. Just going to get make sure they get the field right. Uh, so Thiessan, they're going to want to try and make it as difficult for him as possible to reach what will be consecutive 50s if he can take these next three runs off. Prakash Mishra replacing Chris Lakoff after he went for 44 runs off of his four overs, going at 11s. Now, there's a few vicious short balls, but so he aren't accepted yet. And he did well to deal with it, didn't he? The skipper from Romania. It's taken a while just to get everything sorted here. Well, so Thysan, it looks to go big over there, and it's. He's going to run away, four runs, and that's six runs even. And I think it might again be changed. It's just really tough to see here. Yeah, and it is changed. Just, just really struggling, obviously, that sun coming in. But still, lovely way for Satisan to bring up his consecutive 50 here in match number 12 of the Valletta Cup. As well batted too, so Thysan. That's going to end up being a leg side wide. A bit of field movement now after that wide delivery. Mm. Mm. As I say, Ali looks like he's coming over from the leg side into the off, offside infield. Prakash Mishra, he wants to get everything right here. Prakash Mishra to continue hit in his first over. Well, I have to bowl that one again. As Sathisan just lets this one go. And that's going to be a dot ball. Sathisan just asking the question. And umpire doesn't give it. Umpire should. And as we look to continue on here in the ninth over, it's just the 47 required for Romania. Steps across into the leg side, and there's a man out there. It's coming to Salza, so it should just be the one. It's the Thesa, not even bothering to run. It's just going to be the one run.
Rakash Mishra to continue with his first over. And it's a good ball. Natty got that. Doesn't really get anything on this, and it's just going to be a dot ball eventually. Bit of work again from Prakash Mishra. Wow, it's not missed by much, has it? And Prakash Mishra is desperate for a wicket. Just missing that off stump. As that's full, and it's going to be pushed to the man out in the deep. And that's Chris Lakoff doing the work out there. With a really good arm, I have to say. Might have been a bit vicious with his bowling, but his outfielding is incredible. As that brings us to the end of the ninth over, Romania are 87 for one. <laughs> you see there, Lakoff going at 11s. In his four overs. And Asan Khan, well, Asad Ali Nematula, well, he'll be happy with the way that his overs have gone. And he's only just gone for nine runs off of his two overs. And Matty Gotla just taking his time here. Nine off of the 12 balls for him. And we're going to see, well, the first time, we're going to see Sandeep Nair with the ball. It looks like it's going to be a bit of spin. First look at him here in the tournament. It's a good start for Sandvik now. As it ends up being a dot ball off his first delivery. Of the spinner. There is, this is short. There's a man out there. It's just going to drop short. He does well not to let that one go through him. And it should just end up being the single. As they're not exactly running the first one hard here. Nair continuing on here. Good start from him. Ah, that was a really good ball, actually, to be fair. Certainly, Sathisan obviously looking to try and push this into the offside. And Sathisan goes big, and that's huge. From Ramesh of Thiessan, and that's again not just not as big as Kevin DeSouza's hit, but it's certainly certainly gone a long way. And that's a maximum for Romania. It's a big hit from Sathisan. And at this stage, Bulgaria, they're just 53 for four. Sathisan moves now on to 58. Big hit from him. He goes big over the offside this time. And that's going to be another boundary. Four runs for Sathisan looking to get on with it here. With not that many required now. And Sathisan now moves on to 62 off of just 33 deliveries. Nair continues, last ball of his over. And Sathisan into the leg side. He might have found the gap, but I think he has. It's another four runs for Romania. Just dropping a bit short was Nair. 
And that's going to bring us, as that the, brings up the 100. And that's going to take us to drinks here in the 10th. And again, it gives us just an opportunity just to remind you of what we have coming up tomorrow. As we've got some more exciting cricket as we have Hungary versus the Czech Republic as they go ahead and start us off in the day. That starts at 8.30 local time, 6.30 GMT and 12 o'clock in India. And we also have Gibraltar, well, they face Romania in the second game of the day tomorrow. And then Malta, the hosts, they play Bulgaria in the final group stage game of the Valletta Cup 2022. And it's been a really, really incredible day again of cricket. And we've had some really good early matches as Gibraltar, well, they took their first victory in the tournament. And then Romania, they followed suit, and they got their first victory against a really strong Czech Republic side who just couldn't get going in their chase. And the big man that they would expect to go big just couldn't get going, could they? And, and in this game, well, Bulgaria, they just struggled, didn't they, early on with the bats? They fell to just 33 off of, for four off their power play. And it was a good bit of Rebuilding from that man, Kevin DeSalza. He ended up on 43 off of 33 deliveries. And he did a really good job of just settling the ship a little bit. But it doesn't look like it's going to be enough here. There's Romania. Well, they just require 30 off of 60 deliveries as we're coming back from the drinks break. So Thysan, well, he's on 66 off 34 at the moment. Nine fours and three sixes in that inning so far. We're striking at 194. <laughs> and it's going to be Prakash Mishra, the skipper, to continue here. It's just the umpire, just looking like he's going to swap sides here. So Prakash Mishra, he went for eight off his first. That's a good start from the skipper there. They always say, well, let's take one after drinks. So and Prakash Mishra is certainly trying there. It's a good start to his over. And well, that's been clothed into the leg side. Should just be the one. There's that man there. Does the job of just cutting it off for one. Really good from Ivala Katarski. He's done really well in the field for Bulgaria. As that brings the danger man, Ramesh Thysan on strike. Well, so Thysan, he goes high, and it's that man again under it. Can he take it? Oh, he just loses it in the sun, I think. And just struggling again with the sun as we've taken a look here. That went so high. It was going to be a really good take if he could have taken that one, but losing it in the sun just at the last minute. Never really looked comfortable. Dear Divala Kotatsky. So Thysan, well, he moves on to 67 now. And again, good bit of bowling from Prakash Mishra. Just keeping it outside that off stump. This is where he needs to keep it. If he can keep this consistency, he can be really effective sometimes, can Prakash Mishra. Matty Gottler, he's really struggling here. Just 11 off of 18 deliveries. That's going to be a wide ball. So that's, as I say, this consistency is where Mishra just misses out here. As we just see here, just veering outside. A wide line. 
Well, that's well played. It just should just be the single as Nathisan comes on through. And they just need 26 now for victory to Romania. And she's going to do their net run rate. A good hand here. As it, again, we do say it could come down to that. Well, it's a tough, tough chance for Sandeep Nair on the angle. He did a really, it was a really good effort from him, wasn't he? As he just sort of, not really, a bit of a nothing shot. It was just always going to be a tough one as it dropped in front of him. And they end up running through for a single as that ends the 11th. And Romania are 107 for one. Oh, uh, it looks like we're going to see Mulgarian National get a ball. He did just drop that catch, but it was a really tough chance for Ivala Katatsky. But he's going to come on. He's going to get a ball now. We saw him bowl in the ECS in Sofia. He's a more than capable bowler, but you just think now it's a bit of a tough ass now for him as a bowler. Couple of field placements being made sure of. And again, once again, thank you to those keeping engaged in the YouTube chat. I really do appreciate all your inputs throughout the day. It's a long day here, good 10 hours or so. So I really do appreciate everyone involved keeping me company in the comms box. As Katatsuki continues, wow, not the start that he would have wanted. To Thisan, he goes big, and that's six runs for Ramesh Thisan. As he moves now on to into the 70s, it's a really good shot, isn't it? Just picks it off that length, and it goes a long way. That's a maximum. Ivala so Katatsky, not the start that he would have wanted. Can he have a reply here? All right, similar again, and Sathisan is just going to stand and deliver, and that's going to go all the way. That's four runs again for Sathisan. And this is going to help their run rate, isn't it? As again, we really do expect that it could come down to some tight run rate with some good matchups tomorrow. And I'm sure you're really excited for that, as I am, as he continues here. And as he drags this into the leg side, it's going to be a dot ball. It's well fielded by Sandeep Knight. And he goes again in the similar kind of area, and I think that's going to go all the way, and it does. It's another maximum for Sathisan, and he races now into the 80s. Again, Ivalo Katarski just coming on at a bit of a, bit of a nothing time for Bulgaria. And he's getting the treatment as he is that target now, just coming into single figures. Now oh, you just have to look at the Bulgarian outfit. They just haven't got firing, have they, this week? Just struggled. And they're gonna come up against a really tough Malta. Tomorrow, who are at the top of the lead, top of the table. As this is short, he just lets this one go. No, it's eventually given a wide. It's a bit harsh from the umpire, I think, there. As you're going to have to bowl that one again, is Milo Katitska. Comes across, and it's a well bold. He sticks to this line. So Thiessan just missing out there. He really wants to go big, doesn't he? Across that leg side. The three lovely shots over the offside. Just wants to make the most of it now. As we see, eight runs just required now. So Thiessan, well, 
sometimes. If you have low t low targets like these, you just lose your head a little bit. But he's done really well, hasn't he? 84 now of just 41 deliveries. And a really good knock from the skipper. As this goes high, it'll take some catching again. I don't think they're going to take the catch. And it might just run away. It ends up being just the single from Sathisan. As that, well, he's definitely doing a bit of ball counting. As that brings us to the end of the over. As you see, that one just goes super high. And at the end of the 12th, Romania 125 for one. And we're going to see, as we just take another look here. Again, you just see how that run rate really could play a factor. Obviously, hungry, the net run rate just below that level mark. And I really do wonder whether net run rate is going to decide a team's fate. Obviously, they're fighting out for that second position with Malta already confirmed for the final on Sunday. And Hungary, well, they go up against Czech Republic in what can only be described as an absolute nail-biting game on top of the table and between second and third. As we're going to have Delric Vinu to continue here. Satisan on strike. He's 85, not out. And pulls this hard into the leg side, and it should just be one. It is. It's well done by Kevin de Salza out there. As that's going to come through. Oh, that could be buzzers here. Oh, Mishra comes around and does well. Ends up just being the single as it brings Nani Gotta on strike, who's just struggled here a little bit. 12 of 18. Hasn't really been able to middle it many times. And that's going to be a leg side wide from Vinu. Not what he would have wanted up against the number three. He's just struggling a little bit. Can he have a reply, Vinu? That's going to be down, but that's going to go. Four runs. It's a good shot from Nadi Gotla. As he just rocks back, and Vinny veering short and down the leg side. He's not going to miss out here. That's four runs. Not far away now. Just the five runs required. One run now. After that boundary, it's going to be the one run. Uh, scores are level here in the 13th. It's going to be Nadi Gotla on strike. Natty got the one needed. Oh, that's a great catch. That's an absolutely outstanding caught and bold. As Natty got the well, he has to go. Just one needed and a bit of a consolation prize there for Vinny. That's a really good catch. We take another look here. He times this well. He just manages to get down. You can just see. He doesn't really know how he's taken that one. And I don't think. The next batsman was really ready. So he's just taking a bit of time to get out there. I want to get it timed out. But you have to say, it's a really good grab from Vinny. Nice call and bold. Is Natty Kotler? Well, he's going to have to go, isn't he? What a great catch that was. For those of you that sticking around right to the end, well, you got to see a nice little bit of magic from Vinny. He went before the previous ball. He took a lovely catch off his own bowling. Well, that's one that he can show to his friends and family later on. He's going to say, well, don't watch the ball before. Just watch this one. That's a really nice catch. There's that target. Just one run away now. And it's that man, Basil Saini, coming in now at number four. As we're now 131 for two. Just needing one for victory. He would have thought everyone would have squeezed in. I think they're just going to... Can he grab another one? Ah, that's flicked into the leg side. And that's going to be it. That's going to be the game as Romania, well, they cruise comfortably through to victory on. They will beat Bulgaria by eight runs here.
And it brings an end to a really, really fun, interesting day of cricket once again here in Malta. And we just have a look at the highlights here. Well, it was a really, really big ours, wasn't it, from Bulgaria. They only set themselves 131 to defend. A little bit of feistiness at the start, but as you can see, uh, as I'm watching on here now, handshakes all around from everyone. And again, what, that, what happens there is just a bit of fire on the pitch. But as soon as the game's over and the results been decided, handshakes all around. And that's just the game of cricket that we play here. As we just take a look at the highlights. And that was one of the one of the wickets to fall. You can see there's the T Well, he went and then put the put the brakes on and stopped in his tracks and ended up tying Jin see paying the price. And then that was a drop catch for Saeed Hussein. And it's a Thissan. Well there was no stopping here once there as he finishes on 86, not out off of 43 deliveries. Some textbook shots in there. And some not so technical shots, but they go the way. When it's your day, it's consecutive 50s now for him in the tournament. 10 fours coming from his innings, five maximums. A really nice way for him to end the day. On what a really good day for him with the bat. And as captain is Romania, well, they take two from two today. And that's their two wins now in the tournament. We just see here, a bit of magic towards the end as Vinny. That's a really nice catch, isn't it? And he'll be happy with that one. And then we get handshakes all rounders. Romania, maybe Bulgaria by eight wickets.